This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Welcome everyone to the Prod Pod. This is the Off Air Pod. The producers of the wonderful Fitzy Whipper Kate Ritchie show jump on the mics after all the talent have left on a Friday. They've gone. Not a second to think or look back. Left the building 901. Not even 901. No, no, 858 today. Um, I've got Maddie in here. Producer Maddie does all the guests. Che does our wonderful videos. Howdy. We've got a little intern in here. Kate, is it? <laughs> yes. Welcome. What are you doing here? What are you talking about the talent leaving at 901? I don't like, firstly, I don't like the word talent and I don't like you guys implying that we rush out of the building as as quickly as I we possibly can. I see the intern's can. gotten a little bit too big for her boots. <laughs> Do you know why I'm here is because I was wandering out of the studio, but you guys all started wandering in and I thought, I feel as though I'm somehow missing out on something. A bit of FOMO. Well, I didn't even know you were doing this podcast. I know. Yeah, you claim to listen to all the podcast apps back. The last one or the first one went up on Friday. So you haven't heard it? Oh, uh, no. Okay. But I'm saving them. I'm like educated. I'm for saving being them to binge over Christmas. Oh, very <laughs> good. That. That's very probably good. a good thing because we'll all be on holidays and then you can listen to them all and be like seething because of the things that we say about you uh, yeah, guys. And yeah. And then I won't be able to come in with my yep. usual bad attitude. You won't remember it. No. <laughs> no, no bad attitudes here. It's just surprising. You even um, got, got in the door. Um, now, <laughs> probably not the best thing to say because we want to know who was your producer MVP of the week? What did the, who were they? What did they do for you? Does that mean I have to pick a valuable producer? You yeah, haven't most, run me through this. Most valuable producer. One of you guys. Yep. yep. Well, I don't want to do that. Well, you have to. That's part of the pod. <laughs> Let's remember who your puts the filters on your face for exactly. social media. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? I was actually going to give this award to Che Ooh. because was. I came in today and I was a bit nervous yesterday and I didn't think I would be wearing makeup today and I went and saw Che ahead of time yesterday and said, um, I, look, I I don't know how I'm going to look tomorrow. You might need to be, maybe I'm not going to be on the video. And Che, the, like what a professional, understands what a girl needs. He didn't even talk about cutting me out of videos. He just said he might change the lighting, <laughs> you know. That's what you need He's in an always, MVP. He's always here to look after me, especially at this time of the morning. It's just the things that you say, though, because, I mean, I can't do anything about your face with lighting. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like oh, that. Oh, my goodness. Um, can I ask oh. you something? It must be actually annoying. When you got into radio, yeah. and I won't say how many years ago it was, um, but it was cool that you were on the first ever radio broadcast <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> now you sound like my daughter. On scroll. No, it must be yeah. so annoying that it was an audio medium, and now we've got a visual, and you have to actually come in, and you have to look, like, video ready every day. Well, th- exactly. And um, I first started with American Rosso, and I remember in that first week, well, I don't think we did any videos at all. In fact, content was from the daily paper with a highlighter. Awesome. Like that's what wow. we would do as well. That's how long it has been. And the boys, Merrick and Rosso and the producing team actually took bets on how many days it was going to take me before I wore a tracksuit to work. <laughs> because I was like the new girl and I would wear a frock and try and, you know, do my hair and makeup. And I think it was like, I made it through the first week, but it might have been the second day of the second week and I was in my tracksuit. Whereas you can't really get away with it these days, although I am wearing a sloppy joe today. I quite like that and I liked the sloppy joe yesterday. Not that you can't do two sloppies in a row, yeah. but it's like been a nice comfort level. Yeah. Um, nice uh, to have Ollie in here sorry. as well. Finally, where have you been? On the toilet. <laughs> I told him that's where he was. Are you okay, Ollie? Yeah, yeah. Just that coffee. Oh, okay. Good Very to be here. Cool. Um, and you've, you've met Kate, I think, yes. before, but this would probably be the first time she's actually going to talk to you directly, <laughs> yeah. which is exciting. That's not actually I've true. Got, I've got a Sharpie in my back pocket if you could just sign here. Uh, I, d- oh. I, I, um, I demand Ollie run up the corridor most mornings to get my headphones yes. because I'm just so forgetful. Well, I, I, know. I actually met Kate on my trial shift here at Nova two years ago when I was like, here for my Casanova trial shift and I was getting a tour around the studios. It was like summer. So I, th- I think we thought all the shows were off. It was like mid-December. I was getting a tour of like the studios. We walked past and I start hearing, thinking the show was pre-recorded. I'm getting told this is where the studios are. This is the newsroom. We keep walking. And then I just see Kate, Tim and Joel all there recording live. And they look over to us and I'm like, oh, Jesus. And then they, Tim starts talking and then brings us in. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to get this show. I've just walked into the airlock, going to be in trouble. And they all were very nice. I think I said, it's my it's my trial shift. Congratulations on the act win or something and they said if Ollie's boss is listening give him the job oh that- very good oh, so, is that you yeah. 
Was it you and someone else? Yeah, Were there it two was of you? Annalise, yes. There was a, she I was remember. giving me the tour. And I was that was my trial and I was hope and then I was worried that I'd stuffed it up and gone on live on radio and, and not supposed to, to be. I think you've come from that moment to now Kate yelling, Ollie, grab me cans. <laughs> no, it's not morning. the only when thing she's already I wearing say her to headphones. Ollie. <laughs> we love Ollie. Um, should I go? No, you're here now. Okay. Okay. What let's, else do you do on this? Let's get into this. It's going to um, be 45 minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Does anyone have a favourite off-air moment from the week? Anything happened that was exciting or a moment that they loved? Uh, Not off-air, but on-air this week. My favourite thing was Kate's dog shitting at Bunnings. Oh, yes. Well, only because you could trump that story with a, with apparently you taking two dogs two to Bunnings dogs. and the same thing happening to you. But instead of mine shitting while trying to drag them along, both of mine were sitting in a trolley and decided to do it in the trolley. Oh. So obviously a trolley. It was is, like a strainer. Yeah. The original. Oh, oh how awful. <laughs> disgusting. Um, that is that is disgusting. All right. Um, Kate actually liked to be part of this one. Oh. Dobbing in an on-air team for something they've done to you behind the scenes. What have Fitz or Whip done to you this week? Anything that we can Get out legally the say? <laughs> Fitzy, Fitzy ordered a coffee today and didn't offer to buy me one. Yeah, that was that's offensive, isn't it? Don't you think? Because Whip makes your coffee every, what, 15 minutes? I know, and I didn't realise those pods are so expensive because I don't I don't have the skill of making coffee. I will make. I can make instant coffee. I can make tea, <laughs> right? You know I, these coffees are just a press of a button. I know, but this is my ploy. If I claim to know how to do it, you I'm going to have it. to make the coffee. So I do the old, oh, I don't know how to make coffee, Whipper. Can you make me coffee? You're so amazing and talented. I love but that. I didn't realise how expensive they are. So I, maybe that's what I'm dobbing. Yeah. And I think actually while you're in here, maybe I'll dob you in off the back of that. Kate did ask Tommy this week, how do I go into Nespresso and buy <laughs> coffee pods? Like, do I say, hi, can I buy some coffee pods or do I have to go and pick them out? And Tom kind of walked you through step by step. It was like watching someone order a Subway sandwich. I know. I get, I get, I get higher. <laughs> Even talking about going into the Nespresso store is making me nervous, but I've only realised that they're so expensive and I should do it, but I'm going to have to rehearse it in my brain before <laughs> I go to Bondi Junction and go into the shop. So many different varieties as well. I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh, don't say it's that It's quite to overwhelming. Me, it reminds me of um, the wand shop in Harry Potter. Like oh, all yes. the little slots in the wall. Yep. Yep. There's a lot going on there, isn't it? There I, is. But I understand, I, I understand that. That. Okay. <laughs> you just choose the colour. Can, can buy a wand, well, but right. cannot buy coffee. What would you be like a dragon heart string with a bit of unicorn yeah, tail something or something like that? I something with a that. feather. Yeah, I don't what know. What are you talking about? I would like a short, a short, I want a short wand. wand. Why? Why? Like, um, it's short just, and just hard, hard, I guess. It's short it's hard. Hard. Guys, who knew we'd hit one of these in the off-air pod? Context, <laughs> Kate. <laughs> Okay, all right. What else? I've got okay. a funny on-air moment. Oh, that's oh. what I was going to say. Yeah. Favourite on-air moment but of the week. Only one. Oh, oh, there's so, so many, but one that stood out was Maddie revealing that her and her fiancé, Shannon, sleep head to toe. <laughs> yeah, Maddie, what was up with that? So he sleeps yes. what, with his head down the bottom of the bed, yours is up the other way. Yeah, all week. It's been really horrible. I mean, sometimes he does it when, when we're mad at each other, but this week he's done it because I've been a little bit sick. But it's, it's the worst thing in the world. I feel like a child... Um, and Does he really do it when you're mad with each other? No, we never get mad with each oh, other. Oh, that's what I was thinking. You, I, I, I scroll through your Instagram sometimes just late at night feeling really sorry for myself. And I, I just think, oh, newly engaged, in love, it's getting so married, six love. months to go till the wedding. So in like, love. it's such a nice time. It is, except for when you're sleeping next to his feet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cupcaking each other under the dunes. <laughs> yeah. oh, you already got in trouble off air for yeah. saying that. Yeah. Reusing material. <laughs> <laughs> but um, Maddie messaged the group and said, oh, we've been sleeping, like, head to toe. And I went, what? I actually wrote it, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, you need to get this on air because that is awful. Just it is awful. Someone's toes, no matter whose toes they are. And he's got size face. 14 feet. Holy hell. Wow, we. There's a podcast here. That's why you're <laughs> running around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. You know what they say about people with big feet? No, big shoes. Yeah. Big shoes, very Huge large shoes. shoes. <laughs> they don't fit in the shoe rack. Classic. Oh, very good. I, I, have, well, I actually have. I'll I've, go on, check. I well, thought of one when, when you said, Who do you want to dob off air? I yeah. want to dob you. Me? What did yeah. I do? So, Sunday night, I get this text from Jess, like 9 p.m. Yeah. Just drifting off to sleep. Sorry. Who am I kidding? I'm not even close to going to bed yet. Mm. Um, and I'm like, 
what the hell does she want at this time of night? And it was, oh. hey. Oh, nice to know that's what happens. <laughs> hey, I'm just embellishing the story, all right? Okay. Um, no, she, she said, oh, can you come in early tomorrow because Whip has got to do a thing for Sky News. And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, no worries. And I get here. Oh, sorry. Tommy's going to just get him to do it on his laptop from the office now. And I was like, I got here 45 minutes earlier. Oh, you were already but here. But I didn't know. I thought we were going to do it from the studio. But yeah. I was very lucky Che was here because on, was it Monday? Monday. On Monday, our whole yeah. studio just wouldn't work. I went in, came that. in to do my 5.30. The mic wouldn't turn on. There's no audio from anywhere. I had to go into the other studio. And then Che sort of held my hand through it. We managed to get on air um, until Song Song When the Mouse Broke. That was fun. If you ever want to listen back to um, <laughs> some YouTube timer oh, that's quick right. thinking. <laughs> that's a great that break. Was Monday. That feels like eight I know, years. doesn't it? Doesn't it? It's been this too is long. a lovely podcast. Look at everybody. Talk. This is what I miss about working in radio. But you don't ever really reflect, or because everything happens and then it's gone, and it, it, you know yeah. you don't look back on anything like you do when you're working in television. You, you never really revisit the fun things. We have recap once a week that yeah. goes mm. for a few minutes, and that's it. And even when we played that back on a Friday, we listened to it in studio, and we all it was it's all a big family thing. We all get together and listen to it in mm. studio and go. Was that this week? Yeah. Did it really happened like this week? What the hell? Yeah. It goes so fast. It does. Six minutes later, no one's talking to each other again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because Fitz won't buy anybody a bloody no, coffee. No, I know. <laughs> I know. Well, we'll, don't worry, he won't be listening to this anyway, so I'm, uh, I'm not going to be Not a trouble. chance. You know, I asked Fitz if he would come on Educate next week yeah. with us. I said, please, can you educate us about the Noel Liam Gallagher, the fight? I don't really get oh, it. Yeah. He's obsessed with Oasis. And he said, oh, Jess, I've already done it. Educate. I've done an episode with you. I said, Fitz, that was a video we filmed for Informus Fitz. It was like a one minute <laughs> yeah, skit. So no, you need to sit down for 20 minutes with us and it's happening next week. Yeah. Um, what do you reckon, guys? Kate on the uh, prod pod every week? Yes. I think oh, so. I don't know. What do you well, think? You're going to call my agent. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'll give Erin a buzz. <laughs> Fitz in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.